Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, everyone, and welcome to part two of the massively epic oh, package from Frank. I thought we were stopping till, and then me went to bed. Oh, it's no, a no, no. We'll do it now. Oh, Dad, it's a she's necklace. She's still checking out the stuff from part one. I know. That's what I was saying. It's it's like a, it's called a dog tag, just because it's, it's like the kind of thing that army guys used to wear except down there is it would have like their serial number and their name and their rank and stuff but in this case it has cool sonic characters <laughs> it's the same kind of shape and design and stuff and what's that one again is uh sticks mm -hmm. there you go pretty cool pretty fetching alrighty Deuce. awesome a Deuce. lot of rock and roll people wear these Cool. Okay, Probably well... Probably, like, stopping till tomorrow. No, no, no. We'll finish up tonight. Uh, we just, just, we were just stopping part one because it was already, like, half an hour long. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah! Okay, so let's get into part two today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. All right, let's not waste any time here. So first off, I see a couple of things here, one of which I used to have and sadly don't anymore. Well, I guess now I do. But, um, I've been wanting to get it back in my collection, and as Rosie just spoiled the surprise, Dilbert, the complete series. Yes. I said Gilbert, I used Gilbert. I, I used to have this exact series, and... Um, or this exact set, rather. It was recently re-released by Mill Creek, but, of course, I want the original set because, you know, better quality and uh, I think it has, yeah, more extras and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, thank you very, very much. I've been wanting to get that back in the collection for ages. Uh, always really liked that show. And then this is one that I've been wanting to get for ages and just kept on putting off. So we have The Critic, the complete series. And it says it stinks. Yes, I used to watch this uh, when it was originally on. It stinks is his catchphrase. It's what he's, he's like reviews movies, and when it's a movie he doesn't like, he says it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so yeah, it so thank. Or? No, it's just an expression. So it means it's terrible. It's a bad movie. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. I've been wanting to get this for ages, and it was just another one that I just kept putting off and putting off and putting off. So that is awesome. Definitely going to enjoy that. Alrighty, so let's get uh, the first stack here. We got quite a pile, pile of stuff. So first off, I see we got, uh, got a whole bunch of Tom and Jerry stuff. Holy moly, man. Mm -hmm. Let's grab all the Tom and Jerry's here and we'll sort of go through them and holy moly, I didn't realize there were this many Tom and Jerry's. Wow. Dad, look what okay, I did. Okay, here we go. Ugh, stack of Tom and Jerry. Cool. All right, so first, uh, in no particular order, we've got uh, a whole bunch of movies, actually. I didn't know they'd done this many movies. We have Tom and Jerry in The Magic Ring. And then we have The Tom and Jerry Show, <coughs> Frisky Business, 13 episodes. There you go. And then we got another movie, Tom and Jerry Do the Wi Wizard of Oz. To the Wizard of Oz. Uh, another Tom and Jerry movie. We got The Fast and the Furry. Well, I honestly had no idea they had done this many Tom and Jerry movies. I'm, I'm stunned. Oh, cool. Tom and Jerry meet Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes? Who's Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, he's like the world's greatest detective. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah. Remember the stuffy I saw of him? Uh, maybe. Pipe? Oh, maybe. Uh, another, uh, HMD. An, okay, another Tom and Jerry movie. Shiver Me Whiskers. Shiver Me Whiskers. There you I go. <laughs> Another movie. We got Tom and Jerry, Robin Hood and His Merry Mouse. <laughs> Merry Mouse? Yep. Uh, oh, here we go. Another movie. We have Tom and Jerry, The Lost Dragon. <gasps> the Lost Dragon. Yeah, anything to do with dragons and she's all over it. Uh, Tom and Jerry's Mom Giant... Mom doesn't even look like that. Huh? Mom doesn't even... That, that shouldn't even be the mom. Oh, okay. 
Uh, Tom and Jerry's Giant Adventure original movie. Guessing that's a take on Jack and the Beanstalk. And we got Tom and Jerry Blast Off to Mars. It's like all a bunch of fairy tales mixed up. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. And then we, <coughs> excuse me, then we have another volume of the Tom and Jerry show, Funny Side Up, another 13 episodes. Funny Side Up? Mm, very cool. Yeah. There you go. I'm putting all the cartoons. Woo! Awesome. The show, Tom and Terry, Terry show. Okay. Ow! Bless you. Ugh. Okay, so then going in no particular order here, we'll just grab a stack. I love that movie. So we have... <laughs> I'm like in love with that movie. I'm totally going to watch that tomorrow. We have Disney, the Aristocats, which I have not seen in a very, very long time. It is a really good movie. Yeah. No, I remember liking it a lot. I had, uh, you know those little hardcover Disney storybooks that you mm -hmm. could get? I have one of the Aristocats that... Here? Uh, I don't think it's here. I think it's at my mom's place. She still has a bunch of my stuff from when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, Aristocats, very, very cool. There you go. And then we have, oh, I don't actually know this one. We have the Su Super Six, the series. We got six zany cartoon heroes, Super Boing, Swoosh, uh, Granite Man, Magneto Man, Elevator Man, Super Scuba, and Captain Whammo Zamo. Each with individual superpowers work for Super Service. From this unique detective agency, the Super Six Ventura, to conquer the evil doers of the world. Awesome. Cool. I'll put that there. I'm guessing that one's for I me. I got this. And we got... And Ziggy's Gift. Oh, hold no, Don't. Just, you just got to angle it a little bit towards the light. So you can see. There we go. <laughs> Ziggy's Gift. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember this. One of the very few times Ziggy has ever been done in animated form. Very cool. Dad. Christmas, uh, Christmas special <laughs> of Ziggy. Yeah. I actually have it. Let's see, hold I've on. only seen like clips. And we of got that. oh here we go. So we got uh, Heathcliff, season one, volume two. That's Very definitely cool. Good. That's definitely mine. Thirty three episodes. That's awesome. No, I don't. I don't put that there. I put yeah. all the cat stuff here and all the oh. dog stuff. And stuff. Oh, that's how you have it organized. Boy, well, isn't this cat stuff? No. It's Tom and Jerry. Tom's a cat. Yeah, it's Tom and Jerry stuff. Oh, I see. Ah, and here we go. Earthworm Jim, the Earth. col the complete series. Thank you very much. I've been wanting to get this. Um, I remember getting into a big argument with some stupid lady on Amazon who was saying, um, this, this DVD set smells funny, therefore it's a bootleg. It's not official. I've reported it to Amazon. Wow, I just got to wonder how some people's brains work sometime, sometimes, or rather don't work. I'm like, really? You should smell some Mill Creek sets. They're pretty pretty ripe a lot of the time. But they're definitely official. Yeah, like, just because it smells funny doesn't mean it's, uh... Yeah. Now I'm actually curious. Let's open it up and smell it, shall we? <laughs> I wonder if it smells like dirt. And this is from BEI, which is very much an official company that has released a gajillion things on DVD. Let's see what this funny smell is that she was talking about. Maybe they recalled it and doused them all in perfume. I don't know. But, uh... More likely, no. Maybe it's just, like... Maybe she smelled the wrapper. I don't know. All right, so let's, uh... Let's check it out here, so... I think it might be, like, the plastic. Let me smell. It, it smells like a DVD set. Wait, it smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> There you go. If your set smells like Play-Doh, it's probably a bootleg. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the smell of discs. No, like... <laughs> Bet you didn't expect the video to go this way, did you? All right, yeah, get it your... totally smells like Play-Doh. All right, get your nose out of it. Um, yeah, so clearly that lady was on crack, so who knows. I do notice that her... She com... was right, but it did smell like Play-Doh. I mean, it just smells... Weird. It just smells like a disc set. Like, a, it's not anything weird. kind of actually anything. does smell like Play-Doh, though. Okay, great. Buy Earthroom Gym. It smells like Play-Doh. There's Rosie's review. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. sure. Don't call it a review. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. We have... Ah, oh, I've been wanting this for so what long. What is it? It's Condor Man. Can I see it? Yes, can you see? can. 
I actually have the novelization and two issues of the comic this book. This is from the 90s. It's actually even earlier than that. It's from the 80s. The early 80s. The guy who plays Condor Man later went on to greater fame as the Phantom of the Opera. Like the, the stage play. Oh, sweet! Dragon Slayer! We got Dragon Slayer, the complete series. Rosie and I are huge fans of the original game. She I like, can't even play the game. No, but you, li so you like watching me play, though, don't you? Yeah, and you're like, yeah! Oh, watching me die repeatedly. This is fantastic. So this is the short-lived uh, uh, Saturday morning series based on the Laserdisc game. Uh, needless to say, the animation is nowhere near as good as the Laserdisc game was. I mean, it's just a typical Hanna-Barbera cartoon that way. But pretty cool because they kind of play up the fact that it's from the game. So, you know, Dirk will get into uh, like a, like a uh, dangerous situation and then the, the narrator will come on and it's like, Hmm, now how's Dirk going to get out of this? Well, he could do this. And then he'll do something and he'll die horribly. And then, or he could do this. And then he'll do something else and he'll die horribly. And then, but he actually did this. And then he'll, you know, succeed. So it kind of plays up the, the game aspect of it in that respect. And it's, I always liked it. I thought it was a fun, fun series. Tell me what's next. Oh, here we go. Well, you got the other half of Heathcliff. We got Heathcliff Season 1, Volume 1. So there you go. The first... 32 episodes. Now you have all 65 episodes. Oh, look at that. Actually has proper trays. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Don't look behind um, you. Don't want to see what it is. Well, I, I do want to see what it is, actually. What is it? Little Miss Sunshine! Oh, there you go. Very cool. See? Let's see. So what do we got here? So yeah, Little Miss Sunshine. Obviously for me. No. <laughs> Hold on, and it's you got a, and, it's, and it's got a little storybook with it as well. Very cool. Uh, it's Thunder funny. Uh, the barbarian. Just, just hold on a second. So uh, she was actually wearing her little miss and little Mister shirt the other day. Little miss. It's only little. That's all. It's only little miss. Okay, yeah. And here's another one that I used to watch quite a bit. Actually, we got Thunder the Barbarian, the complete Ooh. series. Another one that I've been meaning to pick up for ages, but keep forgetting. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Basically, think of it like Conan in space with a mix of He-Man. You know, it's an awesome, awesome show. Mr. Tickle. Oh, sweet. You got another one. She also got Mr. Tickle. Very cool. The little storybook. This one's for you. I can't even watch that one. Oh, nice. I heard that this was coming out on DVD. This is great. We have uh, Spencer for Hire, Season 1. Fantastic. I do love me some private eye action. I cannot watch that. With Robert Urich. Very, very cool. Face your nice. life for Charlie Brown. Oh, nice. We've got Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown with the slipcover. Very, very nice indeed. One of the feature length uh, Charlie Brown movies. This one's from 1977. Shirt tail. Okay, can you just hold on? I gotta talk about stuff. You can't just pile things all over me. Alright, next. Rose, next. Oh, nice. I used to watch this all the time, too. We got Pac-Man, the complete first season. Of course, based on Donkey Kong. No. No? Uh, the game. It's based on Sonic the Hedgehog. No. No? Hmm. Well, what game could it po What game could Pac-Man possibly be based on? The game of Pac-Man. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I know science. Sheesh. You know science? <laughs> okay. So there we go. So Pac-Man, the animated series. Great stuff. A lot of fun. Um, I remember seeing this as a kid. And this is actually, I think, one of the earliest examples of a, of a show. Is little Miss Pac-Man in this? Yes, Miss Pac-Man is in this. Oh, my show. God. Look, he's um, scared of those dudes. Are those, yeah. like, the ghosts or something? Yes. So I remember uh, thinking at the time when I was a kid, like, how can they even make a show out of that? And that, and this is basically where, like, all the Pac-Land stuff came from. Like, you saw that show up in the games later. So they basically created, like, a Pac-Man world that, that he would be in and stuff. So I remember uh, one of the Pac... I just actually picked up the Pac-Man Museum on PSN. And uh, it had... Uh, Little Miss Pac-Man? No, I, th I, think, I think it was the Pac-Land one, the one where he's, like, running around town and jumping over things. You know, you played that one a little bit. Was, yeah. it, was that Pac-Land, or was that one of the other ones? It was Pac-Land. It was Pac-Land, yeah. Ah, and next up we have Shirt Tales, the complete series. I don't even know what Shirt Tales this is. This one I never really got. It was just another, like, sort of 
anthropomorphic animals, one, and something about their t-shirts. <laughs> like the amazing super t-shirts. Power of, yeah, basically their t-shirts give them superpowers. I think this one's going into my blood. So. <laughs> and here we have the man called Flintstone. The, the very first... Stone, please. Uh, okay. The very first uh, Flintstones animated movie. Very cool. Very, very nice indeed. Awesome. Um, yeah. So, there we go. Okay, so another stack of stuff here. We got Daffy Duck's movie Fantastic Island. This is, yeah, this is a pretty good I don't know if I've actually seen this one all the way through. I have just seen bits and pieces of it. But, uh, yeah, very cool. What are you, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rose, what are you doing? Too much tape. Okay, you're just taking the tape off? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, all right. <laughs> leaving, uh, le <laughs> leaving action figures in the packaging just doesn't happen here. Oh, sweet. I think we just saw this on TV, uh, recently. We have the Jetsons meet the Flintstones. Very cool indeed. That's awesome. And oh, then we have. Oh, the rubber. Oh, it's like. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, and here we go. We got Pac Man, the complete second season, which also includes Christmas Comes to Pac Land. There Christmas we go. Christmas Comes to Pac Land. Yeah. Okay, you're getting the Pac Man thing. Wait, <laughs> or do you already have it? I already got it. Oh, you took it from me. <laughs> yep. Hey. And we got the Heathcliff and Dingbat show. I don't actually know this one. So 13 episodes. Huh. There you go. Must be one I just missed. I don't know. There you go. Another one for your Heathcliff collection there, kiddo. Oh, and here we got Mr. Bump. So another one of the, the little Mr. books. Oh, and sweet. Look. Look what it is. Second one. Yep. We've got Courage the Cowardly Dog Season 2. Rosie and I are having a blast watching the first season. season. Yeah, we still have uh, a couple ones left. A few episodes I to like go. the big mask he did there. <laughs> that is great. Thank you so much. We've really been enjoying uh, enjoying that a lot. Oh, and hey, check. I didn't even know this was out yet. I thought the, only the first one was. We have Season 2 of Spencer for Hire. That's awesome. I don't even know that. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what Spencer Fire is. Well, it's basically a private eye, like, detective show. Um, Can I watch it? Well, I don't know. I don't know if you'd... Like it? Enjoy it. It's kind of more for grown-ups. Alrighty, and now, last but most certainly not least, we have a pile of Blu-rays. So let's take a look here. We'll go through one at a time. We got... Oh, <laughs> I bet Skinslip would love to see this one. We got the Flintstones and WWE Stone Age Smackdown original movie. Very cool with the slip cover. Very very Tell nice. Talking about what we saw at the dollar store. Oh, the dollar store. <laughs> at the dollar store, they have these the uh, basically just you know bargain basement wrestler characters, and they are just the derpiest looking things you've ever seen. Like some of their facial expressions and stuff. Like. Like. <laughs> I, just, I was thinking of picking some of them up just for the laugh value. Oh, this is awesome. I'm guessing this is fairly recent because uh, I hadn't even heard of this one. So, cool. The superstars of Fred Flintstone Entertainment. How to be a Stone Age superstar. And a couple of bonus cartoons. Very, very cool. Yeah, so definitely going to... Uh, <laughs> so we got John Cena Stone, Marble Henry, and... The Undertaker. <laughs> they just didn't even rename him. It's uh, very cool. And then we have the Rocketeer, 20th anniversary edition. Now there's no excuse. Now I have to see the movie. <laughs> Can I see? <clears throat> there you go. That's what I like. uh, yes, I've actually never seen the Rocketeer. Uh, there's just the. Uh, don't say the things before we show them. I know you get excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've only actually read some of the original comics. I've never actually seen the movie. So, uh, very cool. I've heard that this is actually a really good Blu ray set. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you Doesn't think this seem is to have any to extras. But like this? Cool. Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can. You can have it like they're blasting each other or something. 
And then we got some Disney stuff. Awesome. As you know, I'm very lacking in Disney in my collection just because they tend to be so freaking expensive. I love the ducks. We got the 40th anniversary edition um, of Robin, Robin Hood. Hood with the slipcover. Brand new, factory sealed. Very, very nice. Hood Robin. Cool. I had uh, one of the storybooks. That one is not yours. One, one of the storybooks. That, well, all the Blu-rays go on the Blu-ray shelf. Okay, so. Alright, and then uh, Sword in the Stone. There we go, which I have not seen in a very, very long time. So very good cool. story of King Arthur, told Disney style. Okay, don't, don't be all grabby, <coughs> and don't sneeze all over everything. Ah, here we go, and then we got the Diamond Edition of the Jungle Book. Very nice. This one I've seen many, many times. Um, always liked this as a kid. Gotta love. Uh, it has some pretty, pretty catchy songs in it. I always like the, uh, you know, Bear Necessities and whatnot. Oh, sweet. Here we go. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Very nice. So, Ichabod further Mr. adventures Toad. of Ichabod Crane. Bonus feature, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow Storybook. Well, why don't they just have The Legend of Sleepy Hollow short on there as an extra? That, that seems like a no-brainer to me. Wow. Crazy. Cool. I, I've never seen this one before. I've seen the original uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Stop it. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow... Uh, uh, like Halloween special many many times but uh, I've never seen this one before all right hold hold the phone for a second hold the phone for a second apparently I'm a moron there I said it the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad actually is the original Legend of Sleepy Hollow so why would they have it as an extra when it's the main feature yeah I, I apologize. I'm apparently an idiot. Um, I, for years, for, for until now, actually, I had no idea that this was actually the real proper presentation of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow as it originally appeared. I had no idea because all this time I had only ever seen The Legend of Sleepy Hollow in like Halloween, like Disney Halloween specials. And stuff like that. So I had always just assumed it was it was just a random short that they had done. I didn't know that it was half of a feature film sharing screen time with The Wind in the Willows. Seems kind of an odd pairing, but there you go. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm actually even more excited now because um, this is absolutely one of my all-time favorite Halloween specials. I remember watching it every year as a kid, looking forward to the Disney Halloween specials, wanting to see Legend of Sleepy Hollow again. I've never actually owned it in any form, so, uh, so this is really awesome, not only to finally have it, but in high definition, no less. So big, big thank you, uh, Frank. This one is awesome. Cool. This one's going on my shelf. Deal with it. All right, and then last but not least, we got something here from Spencer's. Not sure what it is. We got oh, check it out. Very nice. We got two vintage Darkwing Duck postcards. Very very nice indeed. Very nice. Awesome. Thank you. I, I definitely appreciate all the piles of Darkwing Duck stuff. That's uh. That's great. Oh, and finally, one last thing. Well, this is obviously for me. <laughs> Got an Autobot fridge magnet. Awesome. That's what I saw at... Yeah. Very cool. At, um... And as you know, of course, I have a t-shirt with the same symbol on it. I, I love the old school uh, Transformers symbols. I think they're, they're the coolest... All right, so let's... Darkwing Duck. All right, now let's find out what Frank's intentions were. For who gets what? <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, okay. Perfect. Says there are two Darkwing Duck postcards. One for you, Sean, and one for Rosie. Okay, so you get one, I get one. I already got mine. Oh. Okay, okay then. All right. So for Rosie, let's see if see how, how much we got it right. Ah, uh, so we got Sonic Tails, Knuckles, and Robotnik toys. Sonic Boom, four box box toys. Uh, Amy Rose keychain, Amy Rose and Sticks, uh, Sonic Boom keychains, Sonic Boom 5 cards, Sonic Universe Volume 1, Sonic Saga Series Volume 1, Sonic Select 7 and 8, Sonic Super Digest Number 10, Sonic Boom First Issue, Sonic Universe Number 57, 58, 71, 72, 73, 74 comic books, Rescue Rangers, Chip Plush and Dale Plush, 
Chippendale Rescue Rangers, three bucks. Smurfs Keychain, Smurfs, five bucks. Garfield, four toys. Garfield numbers 1, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 16, 21, 24, 26 comic books. My Little Pony uh, case and magnet. Uh, the Lion King number one comic book. Darkwing Duck number 14 comic book. Oh, you get the Darkwing Duck comic book? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's mine. I guess so. Uh, Looney Tunes number 221 comic book. Don't go digging through everything right now, okay? Just... My book. No, 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 not that one. Rose, not that one. No. Okay, stop. You just sit and don't be grabby. We're going through the list, okay? Darkwing book. Darkwing Duck number 14. It's the individual comic book, not the big collected edition. Oh. Uh, Looney Tunes number 221. Shirt Tales DVD. Heathcliff and Dingbat Show. Heathcliff Season 1, Volumes 1 and 2. Little Miss Sunshine. Mr. Bump. Mr. Tickle. The Aristocats. Daffy Duck's movie, Fantastic Island. Tom and Jerry Show Season 1, Part 1. And... The all the all the Tom and Jerry's basically. All right, so it looks like okay. So the Disney ones, you get the Aristocats. So the other ones are actually for me. So the Blu-rays are actually for me. Yeah. Well, they're for both of us really, because I mean we're both gonna watch them. All right. Then uh, questions. <laughs> So, uh, actually, we got. Maybe we'll do the letter first. We got the letter here. All right. <clears throat> Where are we here? Um. I guess we start on this one here. Okay. So he says, out of all the Peanuts animated movies, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown is my favorite Peanuts movie. Yeah, I always liked um, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown as well. That's a really good yeah, one. Yeah, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown is actually kind of sad. It is. Have you seen that one where he goes to France? Yeah. Yeah. It's they used, pretty sad. I saw it on YTV. They used to show us that. Oh, that's right. It was on YTV uh, recently. Mm -hmm. um, they used to show us that in French class all the time to help us learn French. But we were just happy to be watching cartoons in French class. Uh, the Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad is one of my favorite Halloween cartoons. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. As I say, I'm a big fan of the original... Uh, uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow short. Uh, it says, I like Bing Crosby. Me too. I mean, to me, Bing Crosby is always Mr. Christmas. Um, I have his Christmas album on CD. My favorite character is Brom Bones. As for Mr. Toad, I pretty much like all the characters, but the character I like a lot is Mr. Winkle. The Jungle Book uh, is my favorite Disney animated movie. My favorite character is Ka. Walt, Walt Disney died during production of this animated movie. The vultures were originally going to be voiced by the Beatles. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. For some reason, that didn't happen. Oh. I guess the Beatles never really got into any Disney movies, did they? Aww. It's unfortunate. Uh, my second favorite Disney movie is Robin Hood. Phil Harris, who does the voice of Little John, also does the voice of Baloo. Oh, I didn't realize that was the same actor. That's that's pretty cool. Sorry. Oh, don't do that, please. Are you okay? Nah, I'm fine. And yes, she threw it on. You know where. Uh, the Critic is one of my favorite TV series. I got you Dilbert because it needs to go back into your DVD collection. I agree, and thank you once again for uh, for getting Dilbert back in my collection for me. Yeah. There we go. Um, Darkwing Duck, the definitively dangerous edition book, is a reprint of Darkwing Duck comics from Kaboom. Oops, it watches. Broke the Rose. box. Hey, can you? Can Sorry, you? I broke the box. Hey, Rose, Sorry, can you really get out of the way, please? I'm trying to read Frank's letter here. <clears throat> um, it's a reprint of Dark Knight, or the better, Dark Knight. Can you Darkwing Duck. No. I'm gonna go to the washroom. Well, then go to the washroom. Nobody hear me going pee, do you? Uh, uh, they won't hear you. It's too far away. Uh, the definitive dangerous book edition is a reprint of Darkwing Duck comics from Kaboom. Gargoyles SLG comics take place after Gargoyles season two cartoon series, ignoring Gargoyles the Goliath Chronicles. <laughs> I hear a lot of people like to ignore Gargoyles the Goliath Chronicles. So nobody seems to be too... Everybody's all gung-ho about getting the last half of Season 2 on DVD. But nobody seems to care about whether or not we ever get the Goliath Chronicles. So I've, I've never seen it, so I can't say one way or the other. I'm sure it's not as bad as everybody says it is, but whatever. Uh, Gargoyles Bad Guys is a spin-off of the SLG comics. It is in black and white. The Rocketeer is my favorite movie. Oh, excuse me. And I am a huge fan. There was plans for The Rocketeer 2 and 3. If The Rocketeer 2 did get made, it would be based on the graphic novel called The Rocketeer Cliff's New York Adventure. The Rocketeer movie didn't do good as do as good as Disney um, had hoped. 
that the movie would do good at the box office and be like a vein similar to the Indiana Jones franchise. The second and third movie both got canceled. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's funny because I, I hear so many people talk about The Rocketeer and how much they love it, yet for whatever reason it, it failed at the time. It's too bad. <clears throat> Uh, in 2008, Dave Stevens, who was uh, the creator of the Rocketeer comic book, had passed away. In 2000, I didn't actually know he had passed away. In 2012, there was talks about the Rocketeer remake reboot movie. I really don't care if it gets made or not. Well, yeah, I mean, if the original creator isn't even around to, to participate or anything, yeah, exactly. I agree. I mean, that was definitely his baby. I mean, because as I said, I mean, I've read the original comics, and it was clearly a passion project for him. Um... The Rocketeer Blu-ray has no special features. The special features I would like to see on the Blu-ray are the making of the Rocketeer, the history of the Rocketeer, and a Q&A panel. There is the making of the Rocketeer. You could only watch it on the Disney Channel in 1991. I don't know why they couldn't put it on the Blu-ray. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure if I wasn't reading it correctly, but I noticed it does appear to be bare bones, which is kind of silly. It's like, well, it's the 20th anniversary edition. Why is there no extras? I, I hate it when they do that with, with like anniversary editions. They try to hype up the fact it's a big anniversary. But they don't give you any bonus features. Like, what's the point? Um, oh, well, at least I hear the transfer is really good on that. So, so you know, that's something for sure. Um, <clears throat> Spencer for the Hire. Spencer for the Hire. Spencer for Hire TV series is one of the TV series that I like. I also like the intro and the theme song. It had only three seasons, a spin-off called A Man Called Hawk, and four TV movies. Richard Jekyll, who played Lieutenant Martin, passed away in 1997. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't really see a lot of Spencer Fryer. I, I would catch the odd episode here and there. Um, but I found that with a lot of shows that were on back, you know, before I sort of watched those types of shows, I, I've enjoyed going back and experiencing them for the first time now. Um, that was certainly the case with Columbo and uh, Magnum P.I. And, and stuff like that. Well, Magnum P.I. I would watch kind of with my parents, but uh, really came to enjoy it later, later in life. And... Uh, well, it's like Columbo and Rockford Files would be another one. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, checking out Spencer for Hire, all good and proper. Uh, so, oh yeah, Robert Urich, who played Spencer, passed away in 2002. Yeah, that I did know. That was that was very sad. As for the other DVDs, most of them I talked about in my videos. The DVDs that I didn't talk about, you know what they are about. Okay, cool. And finally, we have some questions here. Questions. Have you seen the Darkwing Duck music video? No. Uh, let's get dangerous. Yes, I have seen it a uh, long, long time ago. Though. Like basically back when Darkwing Duck was first premiering, and they had like a big sort of prime time event for the first couple episodes, and, I, and they showed the music video as well. That's the only time I've ever seen it. Um, but I remember liking it. Have you seen the Goof Troop music video? No, I have not. Um, have you seen Sonic the Hedgehog the movie 1999? I talked about it in one of my videos. I've seen bits of it. Uh, I downloaded like a fan recording of it a while back just to check it out. And uh, I, I watched some of it. I haven't seen much of it, but uh, I, I thought it looked pretty good. Um, have you seen the Mega Man fan film? Uh, no, I have not. Have you seen the Sonic the Hedgehog fan film? No, I have not. <laughs> I'll have to check those out. I didn't actually know. I knew there was a Mega Man one. I didn't know there was a Sonic the Hedgehog one. Um, I'll check those out. Um, have you seen Maleficent, the 2014 movie? Yes. I I haven't, but Rosie has. <laughs> it's uh really amazing. Yeah, actually, you will not believe the artwork. You may. Uh, I don't know if you watched our uh, Christmas video, but I actually picked up Maleficent and uh, and Sleeping Beauty both on Blu-ray for Rose, uh, sort of as a two-pack. So. Yeah, so she's a big fan. Uh, I haven't actually got around to seeing it yet. I really like to, though, because, as I think I've said many, many times, I just adore Angelina Jolie. She is so beautiful. And she just does? such a ridiculously interesting person. Um, they are coming out with DuckTales Cartoon Series Reboot in 2017 on Disney XD. How do you feel about it? Hey, why not? If they, if they do a good job of it, why not bring it back? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, like, uh, as far as remakes and reboots goes... Uh, the Disney characters, like, you know, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, all of them, they are eternal characters, and I have no problem with seeing them show up in new things. Because uh, I find a lot of the time the new things are fun and entertaining and, you know, good for kids, some stuff there for the grown-ups, too. Uh, you know, like, for example, you really liked uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Remember that one? Uh, yeah, but I'm not really into it anymore. No, it's more for little kids, like younger kids. 
But, um, but yeah, like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse I thought was, you know, fun. A uh, fun little sort of... It has, like, games where you can make your own story, which is cool. Yeah, it has that, and it's kind of a little bit educational, so you kind of learn some stuff, but it's fun as well. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, I, I, I wasn't, uh, yeah, as you know, I wasn't, like, a huge, huge fan of the original DuckTales. I liked it okay. I just didn't go out of my way to watch it. Uh, but I would watch it if it was on or whatever. Um... I think I enjoy it more now, as, as is the case with a lot of shows that were on, sort of. I, I think it was when I was in my 20s. When I was in my 20s, I was kind of in a, ah, you know, things suck mode. And then I got, you know, a little older, a little mellower, and came to realize, actually, no, these things don't suck. They're pretty good. <laughs> Please get me the scissors. The scissors? What's, uh, well, here, what's uh, the problem? Oh, I can get that for you. It really hurts my nails. There is a lot of tape on these, eh? Um, yeah, so that, that's... Sorry, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, yeah. Bring on more DuckTales. Why not? I actually just downloaded... Uh, I, through PSN, I got the uh, the DuckTales remastered uh, version of the, the game. Uh, which I, I had never really played the original before. I, I think DuckTales works really well as a platformer, and just a lot of those, you know, Disney characters work really well as, as uh, platformer games. And also this in games. the back. Uh, oh, yeah. Can you just rip that? I can try. No, I can't. It's going to need to be cut, sweetie. Can you just, can you, can you just wait until we're done? We're just about done here. Okay. Um... What was I talking about? Yeah, so I, I didn't really play that. The the Ducktales that I played uh, growing up was it was actually on computers. It was uh, more of a treasure hunting game. Like it was more kind of an adventure game. You know, fly around the map and go to different locations and explore for treasure. And there was a lot of mini games and stuff. Uh, that's the one that I played a lot. Uh, so I didn't actually even know there was a platforming game. <laughs> so everybody said, "Yeah, Ducktales Remastered is coming out." I'm like, remastered? When, did, when was there ever another? So I thought it was going to be the adventure game remastered, but it wasn't. It was the platformer. I'm like, oh, I never even knew this existed. Of course, I may have known it existed and just forgot about it because, as I say, I was never a huge DuckTales fan. Uh, I honestly don't remember. But uh, I like the remastered version. <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh. Get out. Who goes in there? Oh, you figured it out. There we go. So we got, got one of the uh, Garfields there. Alrighty, folks. I think we got to get going, kiddo. We got to get you in bed, and I got to get ready for Saturday Night Insanity. <sighs> now that I'm losing my voice from talking so much on this video, um, yeah. So thank you very, very much, Frank. That is uh, just, a as always, uh, a truly epic, epic package. I mean, that is fantastic. Mr. Car. Um, yeah, that is just, just amazing. So. I'm I'm kind of speechless at just how much stuff you sent. I mean, it's really, really quite staggering. Uh, so yeah, thank you once again. Um, I really and really appreciate it. An amazingly big package. Yes. So what do you think, Rose? All this stuff is just awesome. <laughs> Um, so a quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors, especially uh, my two highest level sponsors, Kyle Pellegrini and uh, Get Your Gorgeous On, maintained as always by Michelle O'Toole and Simon Hedger. Uh, please consider becoming a Patreon sponsor because it all goes right back into yeah, the show. Yeah, it's going to hit your face. Oh, yes, and every little bit helps, so thank you very much. And uh, thanks again, Frank. Uh, this is truly an epic package of, of doom, and uh, it was awesome, so thank you very much. And um, just don't and and thank you thank you for the packet yes great i've been shot by a sonic okay ah, okay <laughs> thank you all right well that's it from us folks until next time thanks for watching and sayonara let's totally check the stuff out <laughs>